Never Tickle a Tiger. Written by Pamela Bouchard. Illustrated by Mark Boutevant. Izzy was forever shuffling and jiggling, squirming and twitching, wriggling and fiddling. She just couldn't help it. It happened at home. Izzy, stop playing with your peas, said Dad. At school. Izzy, stop painting with your pigtails, said Miss Podhurst. At Grandma's. Izzy, stop knotting my knitting, said Grandma. And as for parties, well. Izzy, stop jiggling the jelly, cried everyone. No matter how hard she tried, Izzy just couldn't keep still. It's no good, she sighed. I'm just a jiggler, and that's that. So, when one day, Class 4B went on a field trip to the zoo, it came as no surprise to anyone that Izzy was wriggling and jiggling, shuffling and fiddling, as soon as they walked through the zoo gates. Stop stroking the snakes, called Miss Pothurst. Don't excite the elephants. Forget about bothering the bears. Izzy, stop tapping the tortoises. Don't mess with the monkeys. Stop poking the peacock. And never ever tickle a tiger. At lunchtime, Izzy sat shuffling with her sandwiches. It's so unfair, she said. I'm never allowed to do anything. And what's wrong with fidgeting anyway? Little did Izzy know that she was about to find out. Whilst all the other children finished their lunch, Izzy fidgeted her feet, pounced across the bench, shimmied on the floor, wriggled under a bush, skipped past the aviary, and danced along a path all the way to the tiger enclosure. I wonder, thought Izzy, and with that, she reached out a feather and tickle, tickle, tickled the tiger. He threw his furry paws in the air, which broke a branch, which startled a snake, who bit a bear, who walloped a walrus, who splashed a sloth, who punched a penguin, who kicked a croc, who snapped at a skunk, who ponged a panda, who rammed a rhino, who hit the hippo, who whippled and wobbled and... The lion roared, the parrot squawked, the snakes hissed, and the elephants trumpeted loudly. Miss Pothurst squealed. The children giggled and the zookeeper came running. It was pandemonium. And it was all Izzy's fault. But then... Stop! shouted Izzy at the top of her voice. Stop squealing, squawking, splashing and flapping. Enough running, roaming, ramming and bumping. No more jiggling, wriggling, shuffling, and squirming. And guess what? It worked! The zookeeper stopped running. Miss Pothurst stopped squealing. And the children stopped giggling. And all the animals went back to their homes. And as for Izzy? You were right all along, Miss Pothurst, she said. I'll never tickle a tiger again, but 
Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book that you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.